everybody, how's it going? And welcome to Minecraft without friends. <laughs> no, okay, so, um, unfortunately, because all of us were not actually playing on the server regularly, we all decided that there was really no point in spending money on a server that we were not going to keep using, because that just makes sense. So, given that I'm that myself and Christine are really the only people who were part of the server that were actually making videos, it didn't, it, there, there was like no point to us keeping this server open. I mean, I had a lot of fun with it and I had a lot of fun playing with everybody, but we just, we weren't active. So, um, the server got shut down, but Grim made a save file of everything that everybody did and um yes that's a squid behind me <laughs> this is the last prank that christina did she um put squids in my front yard so i have a red one and a green one and a blue one and it's about to be nighttime so let me um go upstairs and sleep off the night also i finally was able to name my wolf Enoch. You guys might remember that from episode 4. I told Christina that I'd like to name my dog Enoch, and then I finally got a name tag. It's basically, like, nobody's on the server, so I just... Th this is really bad, but I basically went to everybody's houses and looted all their stuff, because otherwise it's just gonna be sitting there, so... Yeah, say no more to your armor and your diamonds. I'm wearing somebody's armor. I wonder whose armor I'm wearing. I think I'm wearing Wispy's armor. <laughs> bad, but oh well. When, when they download the save, their stuff will be there. So, in where they left it, because that's how that works. But yeah, so every time I come out on my balcony, I get to say hello to the squid. I love the way that she did their eyes and everything. They they are so cute. <laughs> They're sickeningly adorable. Like, I'm, I'm, never, I'm never getting rid of them. They're just going to stay there forever. I mean, they're the perfect decoration. I mean, that's a perfect prank to make it look so nice that you don't want to get rid of it because it's just so nice. So yeah, anyways, let me show you guys some goofy little um, things that I did. I think, yeah, you guys are familiar with It's Not Funny, but then I put the Not General um, Nether Wart there. Um... And there's another little decorative thing I added. It came second. And I have a mallet over here. Oh, I have the auto jump on. I was like, why do I keep jumping? Like, turn that off. Done. Done. Back to game. Yeah, so um, I named it 92%. You can guess why. Um, and then upstairs, what did I do? Oh yeah, upstairs I have uh, um, Bonehead and give me some sugar. <laughs> I was being so childish. So let me show you guys too some other things that we had started doing that we just never um, finished. And one of those things is we actually made a guild and I was encouraging everybody else on the server to make their own guilds too. So we all have like guilds and my hope was that we were going to have a storyline and we were all going to like go to war with each other and beat the crap out of each other, but that never happened. Um, but in any case, let's see here, I started building the entranceway to what our guild headquarters would have been, or a guild fort, if the fucking trunks could load. Please load. I think this is as far as I got. Yeah, this is about, yeah, that's about as far as I got. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I just didn't do anything for like two two or three months. Um, it was one of those things in the back of my mind, like, I should do something with that, and then I never touched it. So what I'm actually going to do right now is I'm going to head over to where Bad News and Alex and... Um, I forget the other person's name. I feel like a total asshole right now. It's like, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Um, 
They had a third person living with them, and I cannot remember what his name was. I think they might have had, like, a fourth, third person, fourth person, too, that, like, showed up later called, like, Bubbles or Bummer or something like that, and I just, or, like, Bubble Bummer, I, I don't remember, Bubble Dream, I don't know. Anyways, so, um, I'm gonna go over there, and I have to do that via Portal, which is not that big of a deal. Um, so let me do that. And I will see you guys when I am at Bad News' house so you guys can see what they did there. Because what they did was pretty incredible. And yeah, so I will be right back. So this is the Bad News house. Um, or the house that Bad News and Alex and the other friend of theirs had. Um, holy Hannah, they did a lot of work while I was gone. Um, so... Yeah. Anyways, um, uh, yeah, they've done a lot. Before I go in there, I'm actually going to show you guys the garden space, too, because they did some pretty cool stuff over here, too. Huh. It's a dead cow. Okay. Anyways, um, yeah, unfortunately, I can't do anything with the pups, which stinks, because I could totally have an army of puppies just running around with me, but I don't have that power. But regardless, um, this whole area looks really cool. This is just a little house with like storage and whatnot. But they were decked out over here. They really were, and it was—it's pretty awesome. Um, eventually, I'm gonna get FPS to give me the coordinates to their house or to her house, so that I can loot all of her diamonds because she had hundreds of diamonds. And so eventually, um, I will get that from her, but until that time, let me just go upstairs really quick and sleep in one of their beds. Let me sleep in one of their beds. Let me sleep. I want to sleep. Sleep would be nice. Oh, so anyways, um, last couple of days I was trying really hard to install Pixelmon. It didn't go over very well. Really messed up Minecraft. <laughs> Reinstalled Minecraft. Still was really messed up. Um, my conclusion, I should not install mods ever. Um, so yeah. So, there, in, in reference to um, what the house was like, yeah, moving off of Pixmon, because I'm going to go into a rant if I keep talking about it, but this isn't that different from the way that it was before. It's relatively similar, but not super duper similar. Like, there's rooms that they added and everything like this over here, which I was looking at yesterday. I think this is just a cute looking room. I'd go over to Aranza's house so you guys can see his, but he's really far away. And it's going to take me like a half an hour to get there. That's exaggeration, but, um... Anything in here? I don't need that. Anyways, um... This looks really cool, though. And let me show you guys their mine, too, because their mine got quite the uh, upgrade. It, it's funny how well I know their house. <laughs> um, but that that's an example of how many times I've actually been in their house. So, yeah. Anyways, so, yeah, this is the whole setup. I, I know I talked about this or showed this at least a little bit in one of the videos that I did. Um, excuse me, at some point, that's a magma block. I don't know what you do with it. Um, I just stuck it in there. I was, like, looking at everything. Um, we, we actually don't, there's nothing down there. So, yeah, it's hooked up to, like, a rail system and everything. It's pretty, uh, extensive. So, yeah, that's basically that. So, I'm actually gonna go back home now via portal. And the way back is a little bit quicker than, um, I went the wrong way. The way back is quicker if you know which way you're going. Uh, anyways, so I am going to show you guys how you actually get back that way. Um, let me find the portal first. The portal's over here. I don't know why I did that that way, but whatever. Alright, yeah, so I'm going to go back, and uh, that is what I will be doing. 
I'm going to show you how that works, and I'm going to talk about some stuff, because I need to vent about something, and I'm going to utilize this time to do it now. Um, because, you know, when, and the reason why I want to vent about something is not just because I need to vent about something and I need you guys to listen to me, but also because, um, I have noticed that you guys seem to really gravitate toward my vlogs, and the reason I've noticed this is because my vlogs are getting more views than any of my other videos, um, and generally that's a good sign. I'm not going to turn this into a vlogging channel, but just so you guys know, if you're watching this, um, I talk about a lot of the stuff that I talk about in vlogs in my gameplay videos too. So somehow, well, how do I get down? I can get it down this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to address that in a vlog so that everybody sees it and not just like one or two people. Um, so, well, it's not one or two. It's like, I get a maximum of ten views on a video, and that's about it. So, this way, and this way. Yeah, so anyways, basically what happened yesterday was the community management team meetings reconvened. Or they've basically started back up again, and that you would think that would be a good thing, but... My mother and I have been members of this team for a while now, for almost a year. Well, I've been a member of it for not too long, but my mother's been a member of it for about a year. And she um, has done a lot for the section of the city that we live in. And so, yeah, but what ended up happening was, and I see where I need to go now. Okay, anyways, so what ended up happening was... Back in June of last year, this is gonna hurt. Um, my mother expressed interest in running for vice chair of the management team, which she's allowed to do. There's nothing wrong with her doing that. In fact, it's quite a normal thing. But shortly after she expressed interest, the management team current leadership at the time postponed the elections. Um, you can't do that. That's against the bylaws which were put in place by the community, not by them. So those are things that they have to follow. So they did a serious no-no in postponing the elections and it was pretty obvious why they were doing it. It was because for whatever reason they had some kind of agenda and they didn't want my mother to get involved in that. So in any case, what ended up happening was, there's a chicken here, come last night's meeting, the chair of the management team, okay, you know, let me let me go backwards a little bit, because I'm not explaining this very well. So, back in June, what ended up happening was my mother, or not my mother, the leadership of the management team, they go and they say to everybody that the reason they're postponing it was because they didn't have enough time. So, that, I mean, that's really strange that they think they didn't have enough time to prepare because they did, but we were like, okay, that's weird, but whatever. We'll deal with it in September. Well, September comes, and the chair of the management team goes and says that the reason why they postponed was because my mother expressed interest. Which is a big problem because now you're contradicting yourself and you're throwing my mother under the bus in front of like 40 people. Which is creepy. So you can imagine how pissed off I was and how pissed off my mother was. And there were a lot of people in there who were pissed off, and poo, did we let them have it. Basically, my thing was, you know, when the system fails, you don't blame the members of the management team. You blame the leadership, and if you can't handle this, then obviously you should step down. So, because they, they haven't done anything for our section of the city. They have done nothing, and it made me very angry. So... There, that, that little story used up all the time needed 
to come to Christina's house. Um, because I, I, I looted her stuff, but I didn't really look around much, but holy Hannah, this is a lot of books. This is a lot of books. This makes sense. So what I was trying to say before my game just suddenly crashed for no reason, anyways, is that because she's a librarian, this makes sense. Um, basically, no, I'm not even, well, I don't think it's so bad if I reveal that. Basically, if you go in her room, you will see that this is, well, she doesn't have this many, but she does have a lot of books. Not, not to this degree, but... So this this is basically the, like the Minecraft version of her bedroom. Although she has much more furniture in real life than this. So, yeah. And a totally different carpet color. Anyways, and her bedroom's not made of glass. Okay, this doesn't look anything like her bedroom in real life. Anyways, um, if she gets mad at me for <laughs> telling you guys a very tiny piece of what her bedroom looks like. um, Oops. Anyways... <laughs> Did she plant those over there? I think she planted those over there. Hey, there's a thingy over I never noticed that before. Maybe she did show me that and I just didn't notice because I was stupid. I have to go check that out. That's important. I need to see that. Um. Huh, this is interesting. Anything over here? No. Huh, interesting. I'm not sure what this is, but this is cool. There's a giant portal over there, too. Why does she have a giant portal? That's interesting. I need to investigate that. See, I, I didn't... She kept playing on the server when I wasn't here, so I didn't see these things. Which is stupid of me. <laughs> um... But I was being stubborn because it was in Minecraft 1.10. Well, it's not that big, actually. It's 4x4. Four four. It's very evenly placed, though, which is good. No, actually... Oh, it's a 3x3. Three three. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. That's really cool. I wonder if maybe she was trying to bring a ghast through or something. Which, um... She would do. She would totally do that. So, anyways, um, that's pretty much that. I mean, I don't really have anything else to show you guys. I'm considering, um, if the chunks would load. If the chunks would load. Thank you. I'm considering making this into a 1.10 Let's Play, because I'm already established on this world, so I think it would be kind of fun, but I'm also more than willing to put this series to a close. It's up to you guys. If you guys want me to do 1.10 stuff in this world like I said I would all those months ago, I will happily do it. If you guys would rather I do like a whole new thing or maybe incorporate 1.10 into Let's Play with Clay or into another series, I'm happy to do that too. Um, both things are fine with me. Um, that's I'm just giving you guys the option. So whatever you guys want to do is totally uh, up to you. Just let me know and I will do it. I, I said that like as if I don't care, but trust me, I care. It's just this late at night and I've had an exhausting day trying to make Minecraft work on my computer again after the whole Pixelmon thing. So anyways, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope this has been enjoyable for you. I'm glad that you guys can finally uh, see how everything is. Um... My character's moving weird. Anyways, so I, I don't know why it's doing that, but whatever. Anyways, so, you know, I'm glad I can finally show you guys, you know, what's been happening. I'm glad I was able to finally see the squids that Christina had made. <laughs> because, God, that is a great prank. I wish I could prank her back. Um, We did some great pranks with each other. I have some great Minecraft footage from all of those things that we did. So, this has been a lot of fun. This has been a great series. I wish it could have lasted longer, but... It all depends on how active people want to be in the server. So, um, yeah, that's basically that. So I want to thank you guys very much, and I will see you next time.